Uh, Rabbi, okay, we'll go ahead and get this next caller. Caller, thank you for tuning in. Please state your name and where you're calling from. Uh, Avi. Oh, Avi. Hey, Avi. How are you? What is okay. the question for Rabbi? Okay, so um, Judaism totally uh, rejects the idea of God becoming a man, and Christians argue that if God is God, um, like, and He can do anything, <laughs> is yeah. it like uh, holding Him back and saying He cannot become a man? Can He be God? In the same uh, like attitude where people say like, if God makes a boulder bigger than Himself, then He can't be God. And so, what in the Tanakh? What does it mean, truly, uh, when it says God? Ha God can't become a man. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. See, th there's a fallacy in this, it's, but it's a, it's a word game. Meaning, becoming a man sounds like it's an ability, it's a good thing. Like, I can be a man. So it's like one of the things I can do. Okay, does that make sense? So we're saying he can't, so that means God is restricted. You see what I'm saying? So they're saying God can't be restricted. Do you get that point? Yeah. Okay. Now think, let me, so let me explain to you, becoming a man, that means he's now a man, that actually is not a positive thing, it's a negative thing. Let me ask you a question. Could God be stupid? No. What do you mean no? He could do anything. What can God do? He can't be stupid? Why can't he be stupid? Because it's the word stupid sounds like it's a something. I'm stupid. Aha. Not only can I this, but I'm stupid too. You know? So the answer is it's a word game. Stupid means the absence of intelligence. <laughs> so it's like with God. So can God create a stone that he can't lift? As though Creating such a stone means that he could do anything, but it means that God is weak. So these are fallacies. They're, they're just playing games, and this is, this is cute when you're, in, you know, when you're in nursery school. But in the real world, when you understand that there are some concepts that are negatives, not positives, uh, meaning that means God is... In fact, as King Solomon said, because in the same chapter, in, in 1 Kings chapter 8, uh, so ha King Solomon built a temple for, as a house of God, but King Solomon said, very clearly, he said, I think in verse 27, he says, how could this house, the, this, the whole world cannot contain you. How could this house contain you? Now, I'm not going to go into why it's important to build a temple, that's not germane to this particular issue. But King Solomon says that this whole house can't contain you. So does that mean God can't become something that can fit? He's not able to? The answer is, of course not. God is ein od. He's shochein ad. Isaiah 57 verse 15. He has no limit. And therefore, any other thing, anything else, is a limitation. That's one. So therefore, this is a silly word game. That's all it is. Like, could God be an idiot? <laughs> no. But, oh, he can do something. Well, I need a God who can be an idiot. Well, that's not a positive thing. You know, so I, I've just, you know, approached this, you know, linguistically, that there are words that are in, in the affirmative, like stupid, I am stupid, so therefore it's like, or oh, I have stupidity, or I like use stupidity, so that means like stupidity is something to have. No, stupidity means the absence of wisdom, the absence of understanding, it's really a negative, it's just the language is it's 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 it doesn't require not intelligent. You just say stupid, and that means not intelligent. That's all. This this is uh, that's all that's going on. And God created stone. He can't care because God because every God can created the whole world by just uttering a word. But the other point is that the Tanakh says openly. I mean, you have to understand that. A relation with God was not only reserved, not reserved for scholars and, and geniuses and so on, and it's, it's available to everybody. You know, that's why Biblical Hebrew is so easy. I mean, it's really so, it's so delicious. You know, in our congregation, we, we study a solid five hours every Shabbos together. 
I don't know many congregations that the rabbi studies with his congregation five hours straight on Shabbos. And they all have a Tanakh in front of them, and we read it in the Hebrew. And one of the things they notice is that it's a very small, very precise language. And it flows easy, and he, you know, unlike English, with all kinds of exceptions, and this is an exception to rule, and that's an exception, and this is an The Hebrew really doesn't have all these, it's just very straightforward. You look at a word in Hebrew, you, you, I mean, there's rare exceptions. You know exactly how to read it. You know, they're just, it's just very straightforward. Why? Because it's from, it was a language made for men, not for some, some PhD guy from Harvard who could understand Stan Jacobi in English. So therefore, it, the Torah says, look, let me just clear this up for you so there's no, there can be mis no mistake here. Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man. Okay, so let's clear the air right there. Therefore, he will not lie. He's not, he's not a mortal. He will not change his mind. Period. End. Why would King Solomon say that this house cannot contain you? The whole world can't contain you. What do you mean it can't contain you? If God could be a man, then it can contain him very easily. In fact, according to the Gospels, Jesus went into the temple, so it did contain him. So what is Solomon even talking about? Well, it is such object nonsense. Please read 1 Samuel 15, verse 29. Read it. I don't care what Bible you read. Netzach Yisrael lo yishaker, the, um, the strength of Israel does not lie. Ki lo yodam hu, because he is not a man. Well, what do you want to do? Why would you want to live there? Wouldn't you want to be in love with the true God of Israel? Don't you want a pure kiss? Yishokeni min shiko ispiyu, ki toivim doidechu miyoyin, kiss me with the kisses of your lips, for your love is better than wine. Well, what is this kiss on the lips like? Why is this necessary? You know, kiss me with the kisses of your ear. Why is lips? Because this is where God kissed us the first time. How did we become human and Selim Alekim create the image of God? In which place did God blow a ruach, a wind, a spirit of God inside of us? Right in here, right here, right here. This is where the wind went in. And therefore, we want to keep that spirit going, keep it going in here. This is why people who love each other kiss each other on the lips. They want to feel their essence. So, therefore, what do you, why, does, why does a person want the iniquity and sin and fornication, spiritual fornication in their lives when, it, it, when a personal relationship with God is so accessible to each and every one of us? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you want to go to Rabbi Singer's website, OutreachJudaism.org <laughs> to get his two-volume book set. If you've already got it, buy another set. Give the one you've got to someone else or give the new set. As my wife, she has plenty of notes and she wouldn't give her copy up for, for nothing. So we actually have uh, spare sets laying around to give out. Um, and so you'll see here, I actually have one laid up. Let me get the right controller here uh, just so you can see the, the, the awesomeness of these two books. Um, that's on your screen now. Let's get Biblical Volume 1 and 2. As you can see, I've got mine tagged right here so nobody can take it. Uh, but the, the cool thing about it is, well, there's plenty of cool things about it, but in this particular scenario, uh, I'm going to show you the front of the book. And if, as long as we're focusing in here, you can see how the front of the book has like category, uh, category items, and the back, let me get the right page here. I thought I had it marked. There we go. Uh, let's see, if you can see that, I'm going to lift it up a little higher so you can actually get a little better, better view at it. Um, whoa, shoot. Okay, so as you can see, the very front has plenty of good topics. Uh, we're working on a volume three now, I hope, one of these days soon. And then the back here will have specific verse references. So no matter whether it's the verse you remember or if it's a topic you know, it's covered in both volumes. Throughout the broadcast, I've been flipping pages, seeing what's in there, what's not. So we definitely, uh, Rabbi, we definitely have... Uh, um, cause for a, another volume coming up really soon. Here's the website, uh, tobiasinger.tv, which you can find all of his particular videos, all very well categorized, very clean, very neatly laid out. I'm very envious. And um, so that's it, outreachjudaism.org. Get the CDs to go with it if you can. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it yet, or if you need, if you have the books and you don't have the CDs, what you should do, and this is not a joke, try this out if you, if you think I'm, if you think uh, that I might not know what I'm talking about. Go to his website, go into the the audio portion of his website, 
open your book that you already have to whatever page you want to, whatever title is in there, there is a CD that matches it. Here's the thing, what's in the book is not what's on the CD. What's on the CD is the juicy stuff where Rabbi is telling you what's your fiction to read and giving you more information on this other than what's actually written down. So if you're not doing it that way already, you're really missing out. It's like, um, well, as Rabbi would, would coin the term, it's like kissing God through a towel. You, you really should get, even if you can't afford the CDs, download the modules and listen to them as you study this guide. It'll blow your mind. It's really, really awesome. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, אזי מלך, אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כפלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובד והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נשא וחפצה כל הזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כחילות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובר והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נשא וחפצה כל הזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כחילות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובר בתפארה והוא עובר והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת עשה וחפצו כל עשה עם מלך, עשה עם מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובד והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם השם הלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נשא וחצה כל הזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כחילות הכל לבדו עם נורא והוא היה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם השם הלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נשא וחצה כל הזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כחילות הכל לבדו עם נורא והוא היה והוא עובד בתפארה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אזי מלך, אזי מלך שמו נקרא אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציא נברא לעת נשא וחפצה כל אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו עם נוח נורא והוא היה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציא נברא לעת נשא וחפצה כל אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו עם נוח נורא והוא היה והוא עובד בתפארה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה והוא היה והוא עובד בתפארה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה